Ladies and gentlemen, you already know what this video is. You see the jersey. It's time to get a prediction. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new episode of The Lead. Your host, as always, Harley Dugan. This is ultra exciting to get into. We're talking Astros and Rangers in this prediction video is definitely going to be spicy. Make sure you are subscribed down below. We are on the road to 5,000 subscribers. So make sure you hit that bell for the notification to turn on. You're not going to want to miss all the latest updates on all Astros, Rockets, and Texans. Because remember, guys, the lead, all Houston, all the time. Let's get into it, everybody. I am excited about this. We are all excited about this. The toxicity in the Twitter timeline is going to be insane. It starts Sunday at 7, and boy, I cannot wait. I will definitely be at Kobos watching with my good buddy Danny, and we are going to have ourselves a grand old time because, damn it, the Houston Astros are inevitable, all right? They are inevitable, and it is time to go back to the World Series. It is time to go back to back. It is time to get that third ring. And standing in your way is the Arlington Rangers. That is what's standing in your way and what's supposed to be a great Texas ALCS matchup. These two teams don't like each other, as we saw earlier in the year. Maldonado, Simeon, let there be said, the Houston Astros will take this series. I am definitely confident in it. The biggest worry I have is losing because I do not want to lose. The amount of trash talk that is going to be sprayed across the timeline, sprayed everywhere across national media, local media, it is going to be insane. So with that being said, the Houston Astros will take this victory. All right. They will get the series. And I do believe the script writers got it teed up to go seven games. It has to be. I already knew it had to be an Astros Rangers ALCS. The script writers want seven games. I think it's going to go seven games. This Rangers team is very good. Let's not put it lightly. They are a very solid team. Evan Carter having one of the hottest postseasons recently. But I know this Houston Astros team, and I know – that if anybody could beat an Evan Carter, it would be the Houston Astros. If anybody knows how to pitch to anybody like him, it would be the Houston Astros. And the Astros, at the end of the day, have more experience, been there, done that. The Rangers, they don't got that. Cool. Seager, Simeon, what do they got? They know how to lose to the Astros. And guess what? It's going to happen again. The Astros take this series in seven. It's going to be a biting, horrible, just gritty series. It is going to be fun. There is going to be trash talk. There is going to be some drunk talking fans. I cannot wait to get into this. Houston Astros, Jose Altuve. I thought he would have a big series last in the last one against the Twins. He did start off with that home run. I, I just I have a feeling that Altuve is going to have a huge ALCS Obviously, I'm wearing the Jordan jersey. He's obviously the hottest hitter right now. Besides Jose Abreu, thank you very much. I appreciate him. But Jose Altuve, I do believe he is the guy for this series. He's done it many times against the Rangers. He's the best player to ever play in Globe Life Park Field, whatever it is, the Minute Maid Park 2.0, whatever you want to call it. Jose Altuve is the best player to ever step foot in a Texas Rangers stadium, and I will hold him to the statistics that I need to happen for the ALCS. The Houston Astros, again, seven games. Huge series by Jose Altuve. As always, guys, go Astros, go Rockets, go Texans. You have a blessed day.